Hey guys, welcome to Living in New Hampshire. My name's Cody and I'm a local real estate agent with eXp. In today's video, we're gonna cover what to expect when living in Derry, New Hampshire. Derry is a large town located in Rockingham County, adjacent to Londonderry, just 13 miles south of Manchester and 42 miles north of Boston. The town ranks among the top five most populated cities in the state. Nicknamed the Space Town, Derry is the birthplace of Alan Shepard, the first astronaut from the U.S. in space. Claim poet Robert Frost and his family also called Derry home for a period of time. As of 2019, the estimated population was 33,667 residents residents across a total land area of 35.6 square miles, which had decreased slightly when comparing data from the early 2000s. Despite having an overall crime rate 2.9 times lower than the US average, Derry ranks slightly worse than the nearby towns of Londonderry, Wyndham, and Litchfield. It's important to take into account that New Hampshire ranks as one of the safest states in the US. This means areas of high crime in New Hampshire still don't compare to other cities throughout the US with similar crime data. One of the biggest pros to living in Southern New Hampshire is the location, offering easy access to the major cities, including Manchester, Nashua, and Boston. While only being 40 minutes from the seacoast, this is especially attractive for those working in Massachusetts and commuting from across the border in New Hampshire. By doing so, it allows young professionals and growing families to purchase a home in an affordable, safe area. Compared to many of the nearby towns, Derry's median home price of $357,640 $42 is a lot more affordable for many first-time home buyers. Looking at the data, the town's demographic validates this point. Considering the bulk of the population is below the age of 54, with the median being 40.1 years, resulting in 93.9% .9 of the population over the age of 25 holding a high school diploma or higher, and 28.9% with at least a bachelor's degree. Despite the number of residents without a university degree, the median household income of $76,000 $1,536 still remains higher than the U.S. average, with the median salary for males of $60,732 and $47,416 for females. Even though 8.1% of individuals live below the poverty level, that number still ranks slightly below the U.S. average. On top of the fact that the town's unemployment rate has dropped more than half over the past decade. Another thing to consider if you have young children is the town's school system. Dairy school school district ranks as the 31st safest out of 83 in the entire state. Enrolling more than 3,300 students in grades PK through 8th with a student to teacher ratio of 14 to 1. It's made up of 6 elementary schools, 2 middle schools, and 2 high schools. Residents have the choice between Londonderry High School and Pinkerton Academy, both ranked among the top of the list for best public high schools in the state. There's many reasons why people move to a new city. It could be for employment, family, or a variety of circumstances. I believe one of the most important factors to consider is the weather, especially moving from a mild climate to an area that experiences cold winters. Regardless of the city, New England offers a drastic change in weather throughout each of the four seasons. The town of Derry experiences upwards of 200 days of sunshine and 123.2 days of precipitation per year, combined with an average annual snowfall of 58 inches. And that wraps up the video, guys on what to expect when living in Derry, New Hampshire. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It really helps to grow the channel. And as always, if you're thinking about moving to New Hampshire or you just have any questions, I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thanks for watching.